Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PJJ. I'm praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, baby. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, so check this out, man. So, we, I, I kind of touched on this topic that I'm about to talk about right now in the previous video, but I thought it was important to revisit it, man. You know, I just want to say that, uh, you know, Frank Martin, man, Frank versus Tank was a great fight, dog. I think people are going to underestimate how good Frank is. You know what I'm saying? If, like I said, um, at the beginning of the fight, man, Frank Martin was definitely winning. I definitely gave him the first three rounds for sure. The fourth round, like I said, it was kind of questionable. I think that's when Frank started, I mean, Tank started to come on a little bit. Javante started to come on. But I don't think it was definitively a Tank round. You know, it could have went either way. And not, as we all know, it ended by the eighth. But I thought at the beginning of the, of the fight, Frank Martin was doing very well. He was looking very impressive. He's outboxing Tank, outpointing him. Yeah. And even if you look at Tank's face, you know what I'm saying? Let's be honest. Um, you know, certain people bruise up, bruise more easily than others. But we know historically, Tank doesn't really bruise up like that. And if you see uh, his face, man, he was, he was, he was, he looked like he was in more of a fight than Frank Martin was. You know, Frank goes Martin didn't really look like he was too battered and bruised. I mean, he was knocked to freak out now. <laughs> he was sleep now. You have to go night night, nigga. You have to go night night, nigga. Everybody go night night, nigga. But uh, if you look at their face post fight, you know, he didn't really look like he was too to beat up on because he just got caught you know what i'm saying he got caught not 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 caught like lucky or accidentally or even incidentally he got caught because you know tank was doing what tank does you know he's a very cerebral fighter he uh, he recognizes patterns and 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 just like frank martin admitted you know what i'm saying he he kind of sets traps and lures you into him and then he he makes you go night night everybody go night night nigga. you know and that's what tank does man he's a very cerebral fighter very very skilled fighter you know i think he gets uh he doesn't get his 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 he doesn't get everything that he deserves in regards to his boxing prowess either. You know, Tank does. You know, Tank is, a, I think Tank is uh, definitely a top fighter. You know what I'm saying? Always been for a long time, man. Definitely one of the best in the sport. Yeah. But Frank Martin has nothing to hold his head down about. You know, he did very well. And I just want to point this out, man. You know, I think Frank, I think Frank is a dog. I think Frank is a very good fighter. And I think that he could only go up from here. You know, um, it's, it's going to be heavily dependent on him now, of course. But... I think he has it in him, man. And, and 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 historically speaking, if you really look at Tank's opponents, man, let's go back. You know, they really improve. You know, what I'm saying, look at the current one of the current 140 pound champions, Esau Pitbull Cruz. He's a he's a former uh, Tank victim, if you will. You know, he lost a Tank. Uh, he didn't lose in devastating fashion. He wasn't knocked out. You know, he's one of the few that um, lost by decision. But he's but he still lost and he improved. And he um, Kipper, come here. Sorry, I caught my dog. There's another dog out there. He, he, he still, uh, let's go. He still improved and um, he became a champion at 140. He's a current champion at 140 after beating Rolando Romero, you know. Um, so, you know, Roley thought that he could beat, <laughs> he could beat Esau Cruz because Tank did. No, sir. You know, Esau Pitbull Cruz is a pit bull, you know, and he, he's a champion at 140. And then also we have um, at 147 now, he's an interim champion, Mario Barrios, but still a champion, you know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, because I think Terrence Crawford's been called the champion to recess, right, for the same belt. So I, I fully anticipate Mario Barrios to be elevated to full champion sooner or later. But anyway, he, he's, he's, a, he's a champion at 147, you know, um, and Tank fought him. <laughs> At, at, at 140 that was one of his few fights at 140 so you know mario Barros, he is he has improved and became champion so i think frank frank the ghost martin will be no different man i think he, he will take this moment as a learning experience go back to the drawing board analyze the fight see his mistakes and i definitely think he will improve he definitely has a capability and i don't know if he'll be a champion at 135 or 140 but i definitely think that he'll be a champion in the future man so frank martin has nothing to hold his head down about man and um yeah he uses it as a learning experience and, and definitely improve which i fully expect he will because i think he is a dog and i I think he's a great fighter is he though you know um he just you know he just got just got a little bump in the road and you know he just ran into somebody who who i think is one of the best that doesn't get the credit that he deserves and Gervonta take davis man so yeah man I, it, it's you know similarly as well you know um i don't like to use this example because the controversy and the fact that he cheated nigga you was a bitch but even Ryan Garcia is another example, you know. Um, when Tank fought when Tank fought Ryan Garcia and stopped him, even look at Devin Haney, man. Devin Haney took the fight with Ryan Garcia saying that he's a C level fire fighter and that, you know, one thing that he constantly repeated was that Ryan Garcia quit. We we seen Ryan quit before and uh I think that uh this won't be anything different. Um
I think I think he'll quit on April the twentieth. He said, "You quit, you quit." Well, he quit to Tank. He didn't quit to you. You know what I'm saying? He quit because Tank is is a beast. So you know, I think I think Devin Haney was even playing on that a little too much, and 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 um, it didn't help in the fight. But you know, I don't like to use that example because Ryan Garcia cheated and had to had to had the PEDs in the system. But it is, it is another example, you know, of 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 people underestimating Tank's opponents because how much of a beast take is and how much he outclasses them you know they don't they 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 they, they severely uh, uh diminish and discredit tanks skill and pr boxing prowess and boxing acumen and they just think that the fighter is bad because tank makes them look bad no you know tank making somebody look bad and somebody actually being bad are two different things you know what i'm saying so um yeah, so Ryan Garcia is an example. You know, you saw what he did to Devin Haney. Like I said, I don't like to use that example because he was cheating. Nigga, you was a bitch! <laughs> but, you know, Mario Barrios went on to be a champion at two weight divisions higher at 147. And then Esau Pippa Cruz is a champion at 140, a higher division. So I think Frank Martin will follow the same trajectory. And as long as he keeps his head, head about him and he stays focused and he wants it, I think that Frank Martin is a future champion, man. So keep your head up the ghost. And we still believe you, man. You put on a good show and then shot the tape, man. Definitely on the pound for pound. Y'all know what it is, man. Remember, with God, we can do anything. Without God, we are nothing. The doctor's out. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.